Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Arc Basics, a show where we break down the ABCs of how to start an arc, how to accomplish things, how to achieve things, how to be the best you possibly can be. That's right, we're going with the full ABCs of Arc. A for Arc, B for Basic, C for, well, whatever you want it to be. C can be anything. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Arc Basics, and today we're going to be discussing one of my most hated dinos to encounter out in the wild. And not just one of my most hated dinos, one of the worst dinos that you could possibly meet when you're out on the ground just starting up as a brand new survivor. We are talking about a dino that will just chase you down until you are nothing more than chopped meat, minced porridge on the ground, aka meat waffles, and they're just not even going to stop then because when you come back to get your corpse they're gonna get you as well now to even make these things a little bit better and more terrifying these guys they usually spawn in groups of three to four it's pretty common to see big groups of these guys as they uh, uh wander around the wilderness they meet up with more of their kind and they kind of just flock everything um and not only that, these guys also, um, you thought raptors were bad? These guys have twice the hit points of raptors, so they're kind of tanky. Yeah, that's right. We're talking about, wrong button, we're talking about the terror bird. Now, I actually tame these guys. Usually, I only tame them for uh, getting kibble for my kibble farms, but here pretty soon with the upcoming kibble changes, uh, you won't even need to do it for that. But these guys actually do make pretty good cave dinos um, because they don't really fly, but they can, they can chicken fly. <laughs> That's pretty much about it. But yeah, here, let me show you. Um, wrong button. All right, so yeah, they can actually jump just like this. All right, but if you keep jump held, they can do a chicken flap where they slowly kind of glide down to the ground and yeah and this chicken flap can actually get you quite far actually if you go up to the top of the volcano you can get going uh over to the ocean yeah it's 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 really uh it's really kind of cool what happens but you also have to be careful when you're doing the chicken flap and they run out of stamina and you face plant on the ground you faceplant hard. <laughs> so yeah, watch that stamina. And we'll cover that a little bit more in practice as we're doing this. Now with these guys, um, they actually require Gallimimus kibble to uh, tame. And uh, which is kind of funny because Gallimimus have the fastest torpor drain of any dino in Ark from what I've seen. And terror birds are just like it. Well, it's really bad. So, um, the shopping list to go out and tame these guys. If uh, you're going out and you're going to be serious about taming a terror bird, put the crossbow away. Put the bow and arrow away. Definitely put the slingshot away. Just throw the slingshot as far away from you as you possibly can. Because you want... Not Kairuku poop. You want uh, the, the long neck, the best long neck you can possibly get. Plus, you want either trank darts or shocking trank darts. So let's see how many shocking trank darts I have. I probably need to make up a new batch of them. Um, I think I have some in the download station. Also, I've got plenty of uh, biotoxins. Maybe I'll just whip up some of these things just now. All right, let's take that. Uh, let's take these. All right, let's get this. Uh, it's in the fabricator, right? It's better. Let's see. Shock. And... There we go. Alright, metal ingots. Um, each one of these shocking trank darts requires one tranquilizer dart. So one of these things that you already have hanging around... Uh, the ones that you work really hard on, you are going to take them and you're going to ruin them. All right, now you take, um, for each one of these, you take three biotoxin. Uh, let's put this back. And then for each, um, each one of those, you also need to get a full stack of, of, uh, metal. So let's grab a full stack of metal. Bam. And I would not recommend um, doing terror birds without at least regular trank darts. All right, so let's see. Turn on weapons, ammo, 100 of those. Thank you. All right, those are going to come in so, so handy. 
All right, and also, when you're going out and taming these guys, you want to make sure that you've got plenty of narcotics. And not just a little narcotics, plenty of narcotics. Let's see how much Gallimimus kibble we have. Yeah, we've got plenty. Okay, so we'll take 10 of those out as we go out and we start uh, um, oh, looking for some terror birds. Because terror birds, they can be fun. Um, these guys right here, like I said earlier, they are, they're like raptors. Only they don't pounce on you from the back of the mount. But they do have twice the amount of hit points that a raptor has. So if you can actually get um, terror birds and you can super breed them, um, these guys actually will be a very, very effective uh, cave mount. The only reason why I don't use them as a cave mount is because I use baryonyxes. On the back of a baryonyx, it's harder for an um, Arthropleura to hit you while you're uh, oh, on a uh, baryonyx compared to a terror bird. Ar um, an Arthropleura will hit you just about every time. Plus, also, baryonyx, they have the ability to swim really fast. They have that spin. Um, yeah, the baryonyx. But terror bird, they come in really close um, to one of the top dinos for uh, caving for most of the caves. Um, and then also, if you don't have access to a Thylacolio yet and you're going to do uh, the uh, Cave of the Destroyer over on the Carno Island, I would recommend taking in a Terror Bird in there because they're pretty dang effective. Yeah, they're really good. Um, especially if you can get a max level one plus also two max level ones. So one max level one plus another max level one. Um, and then take them, breed them, um, get um, the baby imprinted, and you've got yourself a wicked awesome caving dino. Because terror birds, they are pretty dang amazing. When it comes, when you can get past their ugly uh, terror chicken look, um, when you can get past that weird funky beak, when you can get past their goofy little chicken flap, when you can get past their really bizarre looking legs, when you can get past their weird funky uh, oh, body shape, they're pretty good. So in other words, if you can get past their weird funky, they're pretty good dinos. All right, so hey, I'm gonna get the rest of these shocking train charts made up and then we're gonna go see if we can tame ourselves a uh, terror bird. Now, um, also along the shopping list for these terror birds, I would make sure don't bring a shoulder pet. Whatever you do, don't bring a shoulder pet because chances are you're gonna die and that shoulder pet's gonna be dead as well. Yeah, terror birds, they will turn on you right quick and eat you and devour you. It's pretty dang bad. All right. Um, so where if you're going to do a prime meat tame or a mutton tame, either get the mutton or then the prime meat after you have the terror bird knocked out and you have, you've got a bunch of narcotics on it, or bring Gallimimus kibble. It, it, it really is the best option. Um, and then also make sure that you have yourself an Argent because an Argent is wicked helpful with these guys, even if you're going to just lure them into a taming pen. If you're on a server that doesn't allow dino pickup, then you can just use the Argent, wiggle your meaty bits from the back of the Argent and lure it into the taming pin. Because these guys, they will outrun you. And they'll do it quick. Um, they will swarm you. And a lot of times they'll get stuck up, they'll get hung up on rocks. But a lot of times they'll smack you, push you back, and get you hung up on rocks. It's not a good situation to be in. Especially with that weird chicken beak trying to gnaw at your face. Like I said earlier, meat waffles. These guys will do it right quick. All right, so hey, let's grab the stuff. I got an Argent outside waiting. I got the shocking trade tarts made. I got the long neck going. I got the narcotics in inventory. I think we're just about set. All right, so hey, let's do it. All right, now when you're heading out specifically searching, say terror birds are on your shopping list and you absolutely need a terror bird, um, one of the, they're, they have a chance to actually spawn all over the island. They will spawn just about anywhere. It's sometimes it's kind of a low chance um, they won't spawn on Herbivore Island, they won't spawn on Carno Island. Other than that, it's pretty much fair game, just about anywhere you look. Um, not so much over in the, uh, um, frozen biome, but they can still spawn up there. Um, but if you're really searching for terror birds, there's really only one place where you're gonna find them in droves. And that is over here on the edge of the Redwoods. And more specifically, in the Redwoods. Because they spawn so often in the Redwoods. But also, that means that you have to watch out for Thylacolio, you have to watch out for Raptors, you have to watch out for Carnos, Allosauruses, Rexes, uh, Thylacolio, Thylacolio, maybe a few more Thylacolio. You have to watch out for some Argents and then some Thylacolio. Yeah, I'm not sure if anybody gets this. They're dangerous! So, yeah, they, uh, they cavort with the enemy. Every, every single thing. Ooh, I see Bigfoot up there. Hey, Bigfoot, dude. 
the rare chance encounter. All right, but yeah, um, terror birds, they are not just vicious, but they hang out with all the bad crowd. Yeah. So I, if I were you, I would bring your own taming pin, preferably um, uh, one like this. Now I'll link, I'll put a link to uh, in the description to the video where I made this taming pin. This taming pin is actually really, really effective for just about everything along the redwoods. And I would actually encourage um, people if you are going to get serious about taming a bunch of stuff in the redwoods, crap this thing. Trust me, it's a lifesaver. All it is is just a raft with a taming pin on it, and and speak of the devil, there's a terror bird. Dude, Toronto, I'm gonna kick your pooper. All right, so yeah, let's uh, get this uh, Toronto, or let's get, not Toronto, Toronto, I'm gonna kick your pooper even twice because you made me think about you again. All right, uh, we got terror bird right here. Right here in the water. Now, if you're on a server that doesn't allow, oh, there's an alpha right here. It doesn't allow pickup, then this right here will actually just allow you to uh, go out here, wiggle your meaty bits, and get him o brought over like this. Oh, and there he is. There's the Alpha. Hey, Mr. Alpha. I think I might have saw a second Alpha. You're a 70. No, you're a Moose. You're not an Alpha. Dude, stop pretending to be an Alpha, man. All right, so we've got an Alpha Raptor right there. He might have to go. But uh, let's get this Terror Bird knocked out. Now, when it comes around to Terror Birds, there's really only one, especially if you're going to do with the uh, um, wrong button, especially if you're going to uh, be uh, using them for a kibble farm, is you go up to it and you look at it and you go, hey, you're male. Never mind, you're the bad type of terror bird. Um, the female ones are the better ones because they give you, uh, oh, they give you eggs. But I'm still going to tame this male one because I've got a bunch of female ones back along the way. Seriously? Bugs? Ah. <sighs> All right, but yeah, these terror birds, notice this guy. He's just not gonna stop for any reason. He's just not gonna stop until I shoot him in the face. Oh, I don't even have my shocking train trust loaded. All right, Super Dodo, keep an eye out, all right? Put you on passive. All right, this little dude is out. So his torpor is going to be going down wicked, wicked fast. So I'm going to park this in here. It actually might get up in the time that we're doing this. Okay, no. It's not that fast. Okay. Whew. All right, so let's grab some narcotics, and then I'm going to throw some kibble on him, but you're going to really, really have to babysit this guy. All right. Uh, see, notice this. He's only got 462 torpor, which is not a lot, but a level 10 guy already has 324 um, health. These guys, they're, a raptor would only have half that. But uh, then again, these guys, they're not going to jump jump up on you and rip you off the back of your mount. If you need more than two kibble, there's something wrong. All right, now I, I want to show on camera if you're actually going to need uh, narcotics before you eat your, your first bite. Because I have a feeling you might need narcotics before that. Yeah, because you're only at 1765, uh, 65 right there, food, and then you're already halfway down on your torpor. All right, whew. Raptor, just stay over there, all right? Oh, wrong button. You said it wasn't loaded, but it was loaded. There we go. All right, come on, dude. I'm gonna let you get way, way down. Here, let's get out the old pointer. Wrong button. Yeah, I'm going to let him get down to probably about right here on the torpor before I give him some narcotics. Just to see if he'll eat before I have to give him narcotics. Come on, dude. You're going to need narcotics. That should do it. Because it's going to take you a while for your um, torpor to go back up. Hopefully your food drains before then. Come on, buddy. There you go. All right, one kibble. Give me, give me that. Give me that. Thank you. 
Thank you! You don't get to eat a second kill. You're just not worth it. You're only level 14 male, dude. Alright? Alright, so let's grab uh, Super Dodo. Let's grab this guy. Take him back. Just remember, if you're on a server that doesn't allow Dino Pickup, uh, this ref right here will just allow you to wave your uh, little uh, bits of your... Uh, the butt of your... Dude, seriously, back in there. Uh, wave the little meaty bits of the butt of your uh, Arja in here and then let them just come right up like that and just trail them in. It works out really, really well. All right. Just, I would recommend not trying to tame these guys on foot, even with bolas, because when it comes around to terror birds, these guys, they're rarely ever alone. Seeing this level 10 guy out on his own, that's a freak occurrence. These guys are usually with their buddies, and not just, you know, one group of buddies. There's usually another group of terror birds around there. You know, everybody gets out, they grab their leather jackets, you know, they start snapping their fingers, and then everything around them dies. And it's just the way it works. Yeah. Whew. All right, let's get back to base. All right, coming back into base. Let's drop this dude off. He's within range of the trough. Yeah, you're good, dude. All right, yeah, you're good. All right, I don't care what you say, man. You're good. All right, so let's come up here. Let's grab one of my already uh, procured terror birds. And here, let me show you some of their stats. Um, this I usually don't level these guys up because they're just kibble dinos. Now, these guys right here, I think I have leveled up a few times. But notice this guy. He's 135. He's not that high level. I mean, you can get the far higher level, and he's already got 3491 hit points. That's pretty dang good. These guys, they can take a beating. And then also, um, the weight, I mean, while the weight's not that great, the weight is still actually pretty dang good. Yeah. All right, so hey, let's uh, grab one of these guys. Let's see. Um, well, here, let's talk about the builds first. Well, here, hold on. First on, let's talk about the saddle. The saddle for these guys, not don't type in saddle all right the saddle for these guys it's pretty low level 33 it's not too bad at all all right but and um, to make the saddle it's i probably should have covered that as well to uh make the saddle it's it's pretty easy 65 fiber 110 hide 20 wood it's not that bad at all all right, it's actually pretty dang easy but once you have the saddle on them there, we got to talk about a few builds now like I said earlier, these guys, running out of stamina while you're gliding with these guys, it is a big problem. So you always want to have in the back of your mind that you need to be pumping stamina. Now, you don't have to um, pump stamina uh, a huge amount, but you do need to pump stamina. Because it is possible to do a massive jump off something and then just start gliding right before you hit the ground. Kind of slow you down, but you need to make sure that you... Uh, glide a good distance before the ground or else you're gonna go meat waffles before the terror birds around you make you go meat waffles all right i think that's the theme of this video these guys they make you go meat waffles all right uh yeah it's the it's the ground meaty porridge bits on the ground that just kind of seep in yeah it's that nasty Ugh. Ugh. all right so yeah when you're leveling these guys up i would say out of every five levels i would put at least two into health because these guys they are tanky you want to take full advantage of the tankiness of these guys um you also want to uh be uh putting at least one point into stamina dude i can't believe you pooped while i'm recording it all right and then you want to put at least one into weight and one into melee damage yeah so out of every five levels, for a standard cave use or just around the island kind of one, every uh, five levels, two points into health, one into stamina, one into weight, one into melee damage. And these guys will turn out to be a wicked, wicked good tank. All right, let's take a look at this guy. I know this guy over here I've already leveled up. I did that just before I started recording. Uh, this guy right here, he did not luck out in the health department. So th we're going to take out this guy. Can you actually carry me? You can! Yay! Woo! All right, let's get over here and put some stuff on Super Dodo. Super Dodo, get over here. I need to put some stuff on you. All right, because we need to uh, reduce our weight because we're going to go for a little uh, adventure with this guy. Uh-uh, I need those. Here, you carry all the rest of this stuff. Don't eat the Kubel Moon. All right? All right, whew. 
Woo! All right, cool. All right, so let's see. Uh, let's pump up this guy. One, uh, you know, let's go with uh, two in stamina. One in weight. Two in health. There we go. All right, this guy should be able to get us where we're going because we're going to the top of the volcano, baby. <laughs> yeah, all right. All right, buddy. And then also, these guys, they get going pretty dang fast. I mean, notice just how fast I'm going. But also, if you can actually breed and get a 100% imprint on one of these guys, they will go wicked, wicked fast. Yeah. <laughs> now, I wouldn't normally advise uh, putting... Um... Oh, uh, points into movement speed unless you absolutely need it but uh, they will uh, if you do you can get these go guys going super fast it's really cool but then again I would just recommend just breeding and imprinting all right let's get to the top volcano and I'll see you guys in a minute all right so now not only do they have a face that I don't even think their mother could love that I mean that's a, that's a bad face all right so I, we do have this little bit now getting to the top of the volcano without a flyer is actually a really big challenge But uh, we're I have this little platform right here that I built uh, So I can bring over dinos for my boss fight. So we're gonna launch ourselves from here. All right. You ready, buddy? All right. Let's see. Can you do this? I Want to see just how far I can get now you really 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 have to watch your stamina Why are you doing this? Because when it drains, it drains, and it is wicked bad. But, okay, so we're not able to make it that far. We really need to be on the top of the volcano. But still, this is wicked fun, even though it's kind of in a comical bit. But when they hit, oh yeah, they hit, and they bounce. Yeah, they take some damage. So yeah, <laughs> just know that uh, they're going to take a little bit of damage coming down. All right, let's see. Well, I guess we can kind of just, like bit hop our way there <laughs> anyway i hope you guys enjoyed the video um yeah make sure uh just remember that the um terror birds while they aren't you know the cutest little dudes they're not really hello they're not really a dino that you want to um you know pinch their uh, cheeks or anything of the sort but they are you know they'll they'll get you around they'll get you from point a to point b and they will do it without actually having to worry about too much stuff. oh there's raptors over there bad raptors no 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 suck it raptors don't want to have to deal with you raptors all right but yeah all right so uh yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure you click that like button i really appreciate that if you're new around here subscribe and until next time this is flinger foo jumping over a parasaur and oh uh oh out of stamina get your stamina there's raptors in these woods there's raptors eating parasaurs in these woods let's go come on all right take it easy everybody